Hi, I'm Margie, and welcome to my kitchen. So guess what these are? They're matzahs. I made you matzahs. Now matzahs are made really with only flour and water. That's a very basic matzah. And these I've made in my kitchen. And I did not follow the rules of how you would make matzahs for Passover. So these matzahs you wouldn't be eating during the holiday season for Passover. But these are very easy to make and you can eat them all year round. And they make a great cracker. They're very, they're very dry like a cracker. And you can use them to Put, I like them with butter and cinnamon sugar, but you can also just use them as a cracker to put cheese on or, or egg salad or chopped liver or something like that. And what it does is because there's not a lot of spices or salt and flavors in these little breads that they don't take away from what it is you're eating. So they really are very good. So there is a lot of technique to making these matzahs, which I can share with you. That will make it a lot easier for you. So I'm going to get started right away. Let me talk about some of the things that we're going to use. There's flour and then we have water here. And I am going to, this is a large bowl, I'm going to mix it first with a wooden spoon and then I'm going to use a spatula to scrape down the sides and get the dough out of the bowl. Once I put it on the board, I might want to use a dock scraper just to keep it from sticking to the board. We'll have a little extra flour um, in a little container on the table as well. This is, a, this is a comb that you use for wet hair, but it's brand new and I just keep it in with my kitchen items. Okay. And then I have a rolling pin. You don't, need one <laughs> you don't need one that big, but actually I have smaller ones, but I really am so used to using this that things roll out better because that's my experience with that pin. And then I have two cookie sheets that I'll keep using when they're really hot. And I turned my oven on to 500 degrees, which means you have to be very, very careful. I don't know if you can tell in my house full of smoke right now because I burnt some of the matzahs. I was in there watching a video on um, my Facebook and all of a sudden, so be careful not to leave them in the oven for too long. <laughs> I'm going to start with about two and a half cups of flour. And I'm going to put a little extra flour on this on in here just for later. So I'm going to add, I'm not going to add quite all the flour, all the water. I think I, I left a couple of tablespoons in there, maybe just two tablespoons behind. You want this to be pretty dry because it's going to be like a cracker. It is a cracker actually. Okay, so that looks really good actually. I don't really need the, that last little bit of water. Two and a half cups of flour and just a couple of tablespoons short of a cup of water. The water wasn't real cold either. So I'm going to take some flour, put this on the board and just take the dough out. We'll just bring it together just a little bit. When you roll the dough, I'm not going to knead it, I'm just kind of trying to get it together without mixing it too much. This, this matzah is not for Passover. This is just plain flour and water. So if you really want something for Passover, it has special rules and regulations, then you need to go to your grocery store or to sometimes the temples are selling the, that type of matzah during the holiday. At our grocery store, we have a local um, a temple that's local and they come in there every year and they sell matzahs that are really big and beautiful. So anyway, this is what we do. So I'm just going to just take a little piece and roll a ball and just set it aside. And I'll just do that. You can really make them any size you want, but when you're baking, you should really try to make them all the same size so they bake evenly. Take the same amount of time. So that's 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 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 eleven. So we'll just get started right away. I'm going to put a little flower down here and just dump them in the flower. You, to get a nice round matzah, you want to start off with something round. Okay, and I'll just give it a little roll and turn it. And just keep working. I'm pressing very hard with the rolling pin, and I actually go over the edge of the matzah because in the, when you're baking them, I find that the edges of the matzah could be a little thicker, and they might not. The center of the matzah will get so dark, and it might even burn before the edges get baked enough that they dry and, and, and um, when they cool, they're crispy. So I was, I was sort of laughing to myself that if they're, if you can see through this, you're probably going just a little too far. <laughs> but it really needs to be pretty thin. There we go. Now I'm going to take my comb and I'm going to hold, I'm going to hold down the, the dough. I'm going to put that in and just pull a teeny bit. So, and I'm holding the center of the comb because if you do use a comb, sometimes all the little points aren't totally flat down on the... So I don't think they were thinking about <laughs> somebody using it to put holes in matzahs. If you have a little trouble getting a matzah up off the table, just take your dock scraper, put a little flour on it, and just go ahead and pick it up, okay? You see the holes? Try to make them very flat. We'll go ahead and put them in the oven. I'll put the timer on for five minutes. And then I'll start really checking them. I'm going to put them in for another three minutes. Only about one minute has gone by, but I opened it up because I'm watching. And they are. Actually, that's done. Can you see it's a little bit brown? Now these pans were the ones right out of the oven, so I'm going to go ahead and use them really hot. So now because the pans are hotter, it's not going to take as long for them to cook. 